when they're taking the sperm out, the salmon makes the weirdest noise. All right, I know what you're thinking. This doesn't look like nature. Where are all the animals? Well, they're actually right here. Tens of thousands of salmon eggs. And this is how they got here. So we boated in about 20 miles from Tofino and we've met up with Doug and his team from the Tofino Salmon Enhancement Society. And over the last 30 years, Doug's been telling me that Chinook salmon have suffered a really dramatic decline. Overfishing and other threats have hammered their numbers. And if these populations get any smaller, they'll crash. And in just a few years, this stream could be completely void of Chinook salmon. But Doug and his team are doing something about that. They're going to supersize next year's batch by rearing the young in captivity, where none of the fry can become a snack for a hungry local. But in order to do that, they first got to catch the adults before they release their eggs and sperm. The salmon aren't stupid though. They don't want to swim into the trap. So this process is all about outsmarting the salmon and herding them into a place that they don't want to go. But eventually the fish slip up and now the team can close the net. This might look like a big catch, but only a few are Chinook salmon. So the first job is to release the other species. The Chinook salmon, that's the species they want. They're putting the females in one bag and the males in another bag. And the females, they're gonna take the eggs and then they're gonna take the sperm from the males and then artificially fertilize them back in the hatchery. First up, the males. Right now they're getting the sperm out of the salmon. All it takes is a little squeeze in the right place to get the salmon going. And it's not just the scientists that can make it happen. But that's another story altogether. After all the sperm's been squeezed out, the males are released. Unfortunately, getting hold of the eggs isn't quite so easy they have to kill the females. But before you get upset, remember, these salmon die naturally after spawning. Right, now that the disclaimer's out of the way, let's get down to business. Ooh, now that's a big fish. These eggs will get taken back to the hatchery. In a few weeks, they'll hatch out into the next generation of salmon. For the sake of Chinook salmon, I hope this one's a bumper year. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. I had so much fun filming it. Um, if you want to see a playlist to the rest of this series, click just here. And I will see you next week for another epic wildlife adventure.